develop this robot. It zips around in the canopy 24-7 overhead. It would be above the canopy and underneath your lights. And it's got a bunch of high resolution cameras built in as well as AI um, added. So it'll tell you all about your plant health over time. Um, and you can really track that overall. You can, it also has a bunch of environmental sensors. So at the same time as all the AI and environment, uh, plant health, you can also see on the environmental side what's going on. So this is a view of our dashboard. And from here, you can kind of tell based on your set points how much of your envir environmental has been in range versus if they've gone out of range a little bit over the last couple of days. And here's just like a little mini uh, synopsis of the different things that our AI has picked up over the last three days. So rather than just kind of relying on knowing whether or not there's been yellowing in your room or not, um, we really take a look and quantify. So here you can see the yellowing is up 6% versus the last day. Um, and the leaves were initially kind of folded, but have since sort of relaxed. Um, so let's dive straight in. So this is a larger canopy greenhouse, but this is what our plant, our um, spider can see of the canopy from where it sits in the greenhouse. So here, um, there's some definitely some progressed stress symptoms. You can see some leaves curling, some yellowing throughout the canopy. One of the benefits really of our system is going back and being able to understand and replay what has happened in your environment. So here, for example, you can see the plants right when it was first loaded. And you can see there's a couple different AI layers as well. You can take a look at our bud detection model. So we can quantify how big the buds are at any particular point in time, which is especially really cool when you take a look at the relative bud size and um, its growth over time. Um, so in addition to that, we have other stress detections, such as abnormal leaf shape and folding. Um, so you can also take a look at um, whether or not there is folding within your canopy, suggesting some forms of like either a VPD stress or a water stress or anything going on in the root zone, um, causing a moisture loss within the plants. And with our system, you can replay and see exactly what and when something went wrong within your facility. So here you can see that this leaf folding symptom really showed up here on the 24th. And the benefit of having all this information in one spot, is you can then hop over to the line chart and see what exactly was happening with your environmentals um, when that plant started exhibiting that stress. So here you can see there was actually like an HVAC issue and the plants got way too hot on the exact same day that that yellowing and leaf folding really started showing up. Um, we also offer things like a lot of people look at air VPD um, because it's much easier to track. But in addition to air VPD, we have leaf VPD, which takes into account the leaf temperature. Um, so that's really important because it better represents the actual conditions that the leaves are experiencing and how able they are to actually transpire. Um, so the VPD is a good metric of how much evaporative pressure there is on the leaves um, and shows how able the plant is to uptake water and then um, photosynthesize as well as how it cool. Cool.